Hello and welcome to the channel. The President Buhari's administration will depart in a little over a week from today. And despite the fact that the incoming administration is not well accepted by a majority of Nigerians, quite a lot of people will be happy to see the back of the former military head of state. His eight-year rule could actually be classified as the worst since the return of democracy in 1999. But beyond his ineptitude as a leader, Buhari oversaw the death of quite a whole lot of Nigerians which we will talk about on today's Red. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Insecurity 63,111 persons killed in Buhari's eight years. For two long nights between May 15 and 16, Kubwat and Fongzai villages in Mangu local government area of Plateau State were killing fields. Terrorists unleashed mayhem on the villages, raising houses and foodstuffs, and killed no fewer than 100 persons, mostly women and children. So far, 50 bodies have been discovered. The death toll could rise as people we are still running in droves from the sacked communities to Mangu Town and beyond to seek refuge as of press time. The lawmaker representing Mangu and Boko's federal constituency in the House of Representatives, Mr. Solomon Maren, said the attacks were among many in the constituency where 200 persons had been killed in the last four months. The 100 lives wasted in Mangu are among the 63,111 that have been killed since outgoing President Muhammadu Buhari assumed office on May 29, 2015. According to data obtained from the Nigeria Security Tracker NST, a project of the Council on Foreign Relations Africa program, the deaths arose from terrorism, banditry, herders and farmers clashes, communal crisis, court clashes, and extrajudicial killings, among others. The NST documents and maps violence in Nigeria that is motivated by political, economic, or social grievances. Different groups in Nigeria resort to violence. The militant Islamist movement, BH, is active in northern Nigeria. Violence among ethnic groups, farmers and headsmen sometimes acquires religious overtones. A new generation of Niger Delta militants threatens war against the state. Government soldiers kill civilians indiscriminately. Police are notorious for extrajudicial murder, it said. The 63,111 death toll is conservative because only reported cases from multiple sources were included. On many cases, are underreported or not reported at all. Thus, the NST statistics should be viewed as indicative rather than definitive. Since the NST started the data on May 29, 2011, when former President Goodluck Jonathan was inaugurated, no fewer than 98,083 Nigerians had been killed. When President Buhari assumed office on May 29, 2015, the cumulative number of people killed in Nigeria, according to the NST, was 34,000. 972. Since then, the death figure has risen to 98,083 as of May 16, 2023. Since 2015, Nigeria recorded the least killings in 2017 when 4,608 persons died and the worst in 2021 when 10,575 lives were wasted. However, the death tolls have been going down since 2022 when 9,079 deaths were recorded. 2015, 5,556 people were killed. 2016, 5,763. 2017, 4,618. 2018, 6,565. 2019, 8,340. 2020, 9,694, 2021, 10,575, 2022, 9,079, 2023, 
2,921, totaling 63,111. The timeline of killings in May 2023. May 1st, bandits killed two and abducted four in Zaria, Kaduna. May 1st, Pas abducted three and killed one in Akwanga, Nasarawa. May 2nd, Pas abducted 12 in Owan East, Edo. May 2nd, gunmen killed one police officer in Aba, Abia. May 2nd, Herders killed three in Boripe, Oshun. May 3rd, gunmen killed a youth leader in Ahoada East, Rivers. May 4th, gunmen killed three police officers in Orumba, South Anambra. May 4th, soldiers killed 23 bandits, while one soldier was killed during a clash in Shiroro, Ninja State. May 6th, Troops killed two Islamic states in West African province, ISWAP commanders, and several other ISWAP militants in Konduga, Bono. May 7, gunmen killed one police officer and kidnapped the Taraba local government chairman in Takum, Taraba. May 7, bandits abducted 40 from a church in Shikon, Kaduna. May 7, bandits abducted 13 and killed one in Kagako, Kaduna. May 7, security operatives killed four campers in Idemili, North Anambra. May 7, communal violence led to one death in Mokwa, Ninja. May 8, elders killed three in Guma, Benue. May 8, court clashes resulted in 16 deaths in Uyo, Akwaibom. May 9, a court clash resulted in three deaths in Owo, Ondo. May 9, Herders killed six in Guma, Benue. May 10, security forces killed seven gunmen in Inewi South, Anambra. May 10, gunmen killed two in Mangu Plateau. May 10, Iswap killed three internally displaced persons, IDPs, in Damboa, Bono. May 11, troops killed 11 Iswap militants in Abadam, Bono. May 11, was abducted and all Progressives Congress APC shifting in Ehime Mbano Imo. May 12, bandits abducted 15 Rijao, Niger State. May 12, communal violence led to 13 deaths in Karim Lamido, Taraba. May 12, a pastor Daniel Danbeki and 37 others were killed by suspected headsmen in attacks on Takalafia and Kwaja in Karu local government area of Nasarawa State. That's the much we can take, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.